Perfect Learn TV. Hey guys, welcome to my video. I am Saiki Salazar and a student of Master of Education in Mathematics. So today, I am going to show you about the exponential function. But before we proceed with our topic, let us recapitulate first the basic laws or the laws of exponents. So, are you ready? with the first two law of exponent. So let's say we have a as a variable. So we have a as the variable. And a is any real number. So for the first two law of exponent, it says that if a is raised to 1 and we have a is raised to 0. So these are the two exponents in algebra. So it says that anything that is raised to 1 or anything that is raised to the first power is the number itself or the variable itself. So we have the answer as a. And anything that is raised to the 0 with power, the answer is always 1 or constant 1. Okay? So there's no need to prove but you need to remember these two laws. Okay, so for example, 3 raised to 1. So anything that is raised to the first power is the number itself. So the answer is 3. And 3 raised to 0, anything that is raised to the 0 with power is constant 1. So this, uh, this is how the uh, loss of exponent works. Now I know. Next law, which is the negative exponent. So remember this pattern that I'm going to give you. This is what we call the pattern of higher integer values. So let's start with the first two law that I gave you before. So we have a raised to 0 and a raised to 1. So since higher integer values, it means that we're going to make the exponent uh, into the higher level. Okay, so if the first one is 0, the second one is 1, the third one, the next integer is 2, and for the next integer we have 3, and so on and so forth. Okay, so but here I'm going to use up to 3 only. Okay, so in the first exponent, a raised to 0, it says that anything that is raised to 0 with power is equal to 1. And for the uh, next integer, we have if A is raised to the first power, the answer is A. Okay, so the variable itself. But it says that if we have 1 here, we can write another 1 and we're going to multiply it with the variable a so the answer is also the same so we have 1 times a is a for the second uh, for the third rather so we have also it means that the variable a we're going to multiply it two times so we have a multiplied by a but since i told you we started with one we can write here also one okay so one multiplied by a multiplied by a so the answer is the same also. And for the third exponent, it means that we're going to multiply the variable a three times. So we have a multiplied by a multiplied by a. And also, likewise what we do before, we're going to multiply one here. So you see the pattern. To start with one, for the second, the one multiplied by the variable, on the first exponent so it means that one variable here for the second exponent second exponent we're going to multiply the variable two times so we have one times a times a and for the third one we have one times a times a times a since the exponent is three so in these expressions we do the repeated multiplication so it says we have repeated multiplication 
Okay. But don't forget that we have also negative numbers or we have negative values. Okay, so for negative values, okay, so since we start with zero, negative values is a raised to one downward. So we have a negative raised to negative two and a raised to negative three. So in here we do the repeated division since the inverse of multiplication is division. We all know that negative number is the inverse of the positive numbers. So likewise with the multiplication, which is the inverse of division. So let's do the pattern. So if here we do the multiplication, we're going to do here the division. So we have 1 divided by a since a is only 1. Next, we have 1 divided by a divided by a. So since the exponent is 2 or negative 2, we're going to divide the variable twice. And for the third one, we have 1 divided by a divided by a and divided by a. So in here, we do, naman, uh, we do the repeated division. Okay, so we can conclude in the next law of exponent, okay, or in the next law of the negative exponent, we have, okay, we have a as the variable, a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n. Okay, so in simplest in the simplest way to simplify the negative exponent, if you're going to make it positive, you're going to put it in the denominator. Okay, and one as our numerator. So for example, to make it clearer, we can simplify it into fraction form. So if a raised to negative one is equal to 1 over a. Okay, so we have 1 here, but with, uh, this is an imaginary, so we do not need to put that imaginary one. Okay, so next, we have 1 over a multiplied by a. So since I told you before that the inverse of division is multiplication. Okay, so in the denominator, we use the multiplication. And for the third one, we have 1 over a multiplied by a multiplied by a. Okay, so we multiply the variable a three times. Okay, so likewise here. So it says we have 2, so we multiply the variable a two times. So to conclude, we're going to conclude these expressions. a raised to negative 1 is the same as 1 over a. a raised to negative 2 is 1 over a multiplied by a is a squared. a raised to negative 3 is equal to 1 over a times a times a is a cube. Okay, you see the difference or you see the similarities of the fraction form and for our problem. Okay, so these expressions illustrate our next law. So, we have the negative law of exponent as we have a raised to negative n is equal to a, a 1 over a raised to n. In simplest discussion or in simplest definition, to make the negative exponent positive, make it or put it in the denominator. So, if a is raised to negative n, to make the positive exponent, put it in the denominator. So, so we have the example 2 raised to negative 2. So, for the pattern that I gave you before, okay, so we have 1 divided by 2 divided by 2. 
So when we enter these numbers and operations in the calculator, we're going to gain the answer of 1 as uh, 0 0.25. Okay, so 0 0.25. So this is the pattern. For the fraction form, the same ex uh, example, 2 raised to negative 2, we have 1 over 2 times 2. And we're going to gain 1 over 2 times 2 is 4. And 1 fourth in decimal form is 0 0.25. And for the negative law of exponent, negative law, the same example, we have 2 raised to negative 2. To make it positive, we're going to put it in the denominator. 1 over 2 raised to 2. So we have 1 over 2 times 2 is 4. So 1 fourth in decimal form, we also have 0. 25. So as you can see, we all come up with the same answers. So this proves the negative law of exponent. Do you get it? Wow! And that is all about my topic about the exponential functions. I hope you learned with our discussions. Okay? And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Perfect Learning TV for more videos and updates.